setting up the Carlson BRX6 for end trip use. We go to the rover, we connect the GSM antenna, we open the battery side, we put in the SIM. On the left hand side, there is a slot. Push it in till it clicks. Switch on the GPS. Now on your DOS logger, serve CE, we'll put in the necessary settings for entry. Now we want to connect to our GPS with Bluetooth. We'll go to comms, which we've done already. Bluetooth, we've already recognized the device and paired it. So we'll go straight to RTK. We'll select in the drop down menu internal GSM because we've put the SIM card in the head. If we were using the SIM in the data collector, we would select data collector internal. Leave it on that. Hit that button. It shows what you are using. In this case, it's a T Mobile SIM. It automatically puts in these details for you. You don't have to put them in. Click the green check. Now on this menu, we select Entrip for Reference Network. In this screen, we'll call it by the name that you wish. Put any name you want to put in there. We call it North Carolina Genesis Network. Next. Over here, you put the IP address, which you get from North Car Carolina Department. Put in the port which they give you, your username and your password. Just bear in mind your username and password are case sensitive. Once those are in, you double check them, click the green check. Now in the screen, it's showing you the language. You need to select the language you need. In this case, for the Carlson BRX6, we are selecting RTCM3. That is correct. The other languages are available there for Trimble CMR. For Carlson, we select RTCM3 and we hit the green check. It shows you the grayed out selections which it has, it has stored. Once this is done, you can check that it's displaying the correct message type. When everything is looking correct, press the green check. It's got float, it's getting correction. Setup is successful. Now we can take a look at the BRX6. The green light is flashing for network connection. Check the monitor sky plot, see if we're getting corrections. Yes, we are, it's in float. 
give it a while and it'll get fixed. If you do not manage to get correction, it might be a case where you have to reset the GPS head, in which case you go back to GPS utilities and you click on hard reset. Once you click on hard reset, you can go through the procedure again and it will fix the problem. Thank you from Alan Bilk.